Hello, everyone. Uh, Paul, thank you for having us, uh, for having me here. I'm very excited. Um, actually, I was one of the um, participants of the um, conference at, uh, at, in Atlanta two years ago, and I uh, really started to become a fan of UX Strat. So I'm really happy that uh, UX Strat uh, come to uh, Europe now. Um, customers want omni-channel. They want seamless experiences, as we saw this morning in uh, Theo's um, presentation. Um, they want personalized services. It's uh, age of the customer, so to speak. And as a, as a company, if you want to stay relevant to your customers, it's really important to find an answer to these challenges. So, summarizing, we can say, uh, we can say that there's a steady growth in UX maturity over the years. Somehow, UX managers, UX leaders have managed to convince their bosses to um, um, increase budgets and, and invest more in CX and UX. Um, but what now keeps them from um, excelling in UX might not be just resources, but rather these organizational barriers. So what can you do to overcome these barriers, to cross them? Well, obviously, you might indeed need some more power. Um, um, but at Infomart, we think uh, part of the answer lies in extending the scope from UX to CX. Now, in the past years, Infomart has helped uh, several companies um, set up their own in-house uh, UX teams and UX departments. And what we noticed was for them to succeed, it's not only important to stress or focus UX and make sure you get the right talent on board, establish the right design process and have them work with the right tools, it's also very important to realize that UX is part of a much broader, more general customer's experience, that it's part of CX. So for that reason, at Infomart, we've developed a CX model that looks at the matter a little more holistically. And this is the model we created. And we use it to explain to our customers what we mean by customer experience. Um, as, as you can see, um, in the interaction with the customer, there are uh, several factors that play a role. These are external factors, like products and services, of course, and brand and marketing, with which the customer is in direct contact. But there's also more internally oriented factors, like processes, um, um, the, the culture that exists in the organization, things like customer insights, um, but also the technology, of course, technology that can be either enabling or frustrating your ambition. Now, as an organization, what you want to do is make sure that you engage in those activities for those factors um, that let you achieve uh, an, exp an, an excellent experience for your customers. And you don't want to do it just once, you want to do that structurally, so on a permanent basis, actually. Um, so as an organization, what you want to do is actually strive for customer experience excellence, so that indeed at each and every moment that your company or your organization is in contact with the customer, you can indeed achieve this or deliver this excellent experience. Now, how can you do that in practice? Well, for that, we use the CX framework. Um, what you see here on the left is the same factors that we saw earlier in the uh, circular model. Uh, but on the right here now, you see the different perspectives you can take on the activities you engage in concerning CX. So there's a strategic perspective that looks at things uh, at least uh, two to five years ahead. And things to expect here are things like service design, or um, setting or determining brand values, or in terms of customer insight, you might be looking at a, a customer segmentation. And then there's the tactical uh, perspective that looks at a time frame of at least one to two years ahead. And things to expect here might be things like UX concepting, um, designing your online identity, uh, or you might be doing um, uh, concept evaluation th with uh, some, some, some customers of yours. And then finally, there's the operational perspective that looks at things that need to be done here and now in order to uh, deliver that excellent experience. So things that you might expect here, are, or activities you might expect here, are things like uh, detailed UX design, uh, you might be engaging in a marketing campaign, or you might be doing field tests or A-B tests with your website. And as a, as a developer, you might be writing back-end code. So these are just examples. And even these are just examples, and I don't want you to read them all, but... Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that was very quick. Um, 
these are just examples, but uh, the point I want to make is that as a company, um, you should try and select those activities and also coordinate those activities that let you arrive at a shared vision and strategy um, in the strategic perspective um, so that you can build a solid CX foundation from a tactical perspective, the two of which then let you arrive at uh, excellent experiences for your customers in, a, in an effective and efficient way.